Okay, let's admit it. Most people are probably decorating sugar cookies this time of year. Oh yeah, but this morning we're painting <laughs> pop tarts. Yes, ma'am. Artist Julia McLaurin is here with us. Of course, you know most people eat pop tarts, but um, what made you decide to paint them? This is interesting. They're so, they look <laughs> edible. I want to just <laughs> bite into it, by the way. Well, these are actually <laughs> ceramic. They're porcelain, mm -hmm. and I think that pop tarts just bring so much joy and happiness, and people can relate with their childhood and just sort of kick back and paint some sugar. I love it that you brought it in. So we're. To get going and start painting All some right. of our own, but I want everyone to know that they can do this with you soon. How do they get involved and how do they do this? Right, so I'm teaching workshops right now, and you can use it for a corporate event, a birthday party. I can come to you. I'm currently doing the uh, Pop Tart workshops out of the site. Uh, whatever okay. you feel like doing, that's okay. the beauty of art. You can make Maybe. a mistake, yeah. you can just do anything you want. Mm -hmm. You have some beautiful designs here, oh and goodness. I love the Fox 26 too. How long does it take for this, you know, to kind of dry so that we can start making designs and everything on here? Well, since these are made out of porcelain, I made them myself. They dry very quick. So five minutes, you can put some sprinkles, and then five minutes, you can add some more. So it's a really quick process. As you can see, it's already drying. Okay. I tell you what, you always cool. have the most creative <laughs> ideas. It is so fun to always see what you are up to. And everything looks so edible. What I mean, I take a look at that cupcake, and I'm telling you, I just want to, to <laughs> grab a bite right now. And the, the zebra cupcakes, are you kidding me? It's so real. How how did you learn how to to, to make make something come to life like that? Well, I mean, I've been an artist my entire life and I really love food because it brings your old memories. It's just, mm -hmm. and especially sweet things. You mm -hmm. know, there's just not enough food on the wall in my opinion. <laughs> Do you have an idea of how to get these edges? Even? Yeah, because that's just a challenge. Practice, practice, oh, okay. Oh, perfect. Okay. okay. And, <laughs> and so, I better practice what, what's your advice for beginners like ourselves here? So as a beginner, just just, this part. So do we just start picking this up and sprinkling on here? Yeah, a well, bit? you can do that, or, or we we'll probably have to put some glue on there first, okay. and then we'll just sort of dot it in the after show. And oh, oh, so oh, I have a plan with crazy. why yeah. I'm doing orange too, because I told you my my son's a Longhorn, and I'm trying to you know be a supportive mom. So you're going to help <laughs> me do a, a put a little yes, white Longhorn on this in a happen, few minutes, okay. Melissa? Right. And then these are great for kids. Adults love to do them. I've done two mm -hmm. workshops. I have one this Saturday. Mm -hmm. I have one next Saturday, the last one of the year. And next year I may do some little Debbie snack cake workshops. So it's going to be pop art all the time at the silos. So come have a good time. Book a party. I'd love to paint a pop tart with you. Now, okay. people, for people who aren't aware of the silos, can you tell us more about that and sure. where we find you? The silos is off of 1502 Sawyer Street, and it's a large. Uh, artist community. We have over 300 artists there, and I, we open our doors every second Saturday. And I feel so rude looking down and not looking at you when you're talking. Well, I'm, I'm so sorry you're to talking to the, the side of my head. <laughs> <laughs> we see and you. We hear yeah, you. Thank just you. So you know. And what's the price of admission so for so this? It really depends on what you're looking for. If you want to do a party, there's a party rate. You can find me at makearthouston.com to book your own workshop or okay. come into my studio for your own personal, you know, session. Now okay. that's what we need, well, a I'm personal session to learn how to do smooth here. edges. You know what the wow, thing yeah. is about painting is it feels, I don't know, I mean I was having a really good day before, but I just feel so chill mm -hmm. and, and like you said, relaxed. It, there's something about it that just calms the mind, doesn't it? Yeah, it sort of takes you away from your worries. Anyone can be an artist and the mm -hmm. beauty of art is you can make a mistake. Mm -hmm. It teaches you that it's okay to make a mistake and keep going. In fact, some of my best work is from a mistake, mm -hmm. an idea from a mistake. So, Okay, uh, so how do we do? So okay. Okay. So th this looks yeah, amazing. Right? Yeah, this looks the easy good. part. Okay. <laughs> we get a little longhorn going on over there. We'll be set. <laughs> All right. We'll finish up later. Thanks so much. For I have a blue in. dot on my. You know what I just want to do? Just like what? rub the edge of your nose. No, it's like a wedding. <laughs> you can't I put can't. the cake in the face. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs>